Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm Interior Tom and I am super excited as this is my first ever crafting video for YouTube. So welcome. Um, now because it is my first video, I just want to tell you a bit about me and what you can expect from this channel going forward. So I love DIY, I love crafting, creating and making really beautiful things for the home on a small budget. Um, here's just a quick example of some of the things that I've made recently, just so you can gauge my sense of style. So the first thing I want to show you is my barbecue bag bamboo skewer lampshade. Originally I made two separate shades, uh, they were four pounds each to make and then I combined the two making this project eight pounds. This would easily retail in store upwards of 100. Um, I think it's so beautiful to look at I'm, I'm so so chuffed with it. The second thing I want to show you is my lollipop stick or popsicle stick shelf. Um, this one may cost me about three pounds to make, it's home to one of my house plants. It looks really nice on the wall, especially when the light comes in and casts shadows. Again, three pounds to make and super, super thrifty. And the final thing I want to show you is my driftwood candelabra. Um, I found this piece of driftwood making this project essentially free. I love it. I think it looks really stylish and really elegant and it looks stunning on our dining room table. So if you liked any of the items that I just showed you and would like to know how I made them, the tutorials for those are available on my TikTok and Instagram and that is at interiortom underscore. I'll put that in the description below as well for you. But without further ado, I'm now going to show you how I made my bamboo headboard for 20 pounds. This is how I did it. You will need a small hula hoop, 12 small bamboo hoops, one straight length of bamboo, 80 meters of raffia, cable ties, a hot glue gun, and a pair of scissors. Start off by cutting your hula hoop in half. When choosing your straight length of bamboo, ensure that it fits inside your hula hoop and then cut it to 34.5 inches. Pop a generous amount of hot glue inside your hula hoop and then insert your bamboo length around 3 inches deep. Repeat this process on the opposite side. You will now have a complete semicircle shape. I added sellotape onto the joints at each end for added security, but this isn't essential. Using vinyl strips, I then covered the entire frame so that it was one even colour. It would be easier to spray or paint the frame in an earthy tone, but I didn't have any to hand so used vinyl instead. Now it's time to wrap the whole frame in raffia. Add some hot glue to the back of the frame and get wrapping. This is the most tedious part of the project but it's so worth it once done. Be sure to keep the raffia tight and try to evenly wrap. This is what it will look like once done. Next up, grab your bamboo hoops and lay them on top of the frame you have just made. You now need to tie them together using small cable ties. Mine were 100mm long. I attached one near the top of the arch and one at the bottom. Don't pull them too tight just yet as you may wish to adjust them in a moment. Using another two cable ties, attach the bamboo to the bottom of your frame at each end. Now adjust and tighten all cable ties. They should be equidistant from the bottom and from the top. Using larger cable ties at 200mm each, find the centre point of your bamboo hoops and then attach it to the middle of your hula hoop frame. I used two cable ties for this and crossed them over. Continue to attach your bamboo to the frame, this time using just one cable tie. It's not overly necessary to attach every single piece with cable ties. I did just five and attached the rest with hot glue. Next up, twist all of your cable ties so that the square mechanism is at the back of your frame. Now flip the whole thing over and using scissors, snip the tails of the cable ties. From the front, you'll be left with something that resembles this. Now it's time to add your raffia. Cut lengths of two foot long to disguise all of your cable ties. Add hot glue directly to the back of your cable tie, place the end of the raffia in and wrap. Add more hot glue to securely fasten the end. Using scissors, snip off any excess. Complete this process for any exposed cable tie. This is what they'll look like. Now you could leave the frame like this and attach to the wall using nails, but if you'd rather make legs, this is how you'd do it. 
Cut two straight lengths of bamboo slightly above the height of your bed and mark where your mattress ends. Using a strong glue adhesive, add a line of glue from your mark to the end of the stick. Lay this directly onto the end of your frame and secure with cable ties. Cover your cable ties in raffia and it's disguised. Complete this process for both legs. This is the final product. It really is that simple and looks so stunning on the bed. This is one of my favourite projects I've ever made. Collectively, you could complete this project within three hours. It really is that simple. Yay, you made it to the end of the video. So hopefully that means that you liked it, you liked what you saw. Um, if I have inspired you to create your own bamboo headboard, then please, please tag me in your creations. I would love to see them. Um, all links to my social media platforms are in the description below, so uh, hit me up on there. I'm going to be posting regular videos on here, so if you enjoyed today's video, then please, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the little bell and it will notify you whenever I next upload. Finally, before I go, if you have anything in particular that you'd like to see me make, then please pop that in the comments below and I will do my best at attempting to make it. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Bye.